Hello YouTube. <clears throat> I have had a request from one of my s amazing subscribers to do a walkthrough of the Honeywell Vision Pro 8000 thermostat. So, here we go. Now, you're probably wondering, Steve, what is that crazy contraption on your forehead? That is an alternative configuration for my hat cam. What I noticed was that when the camera is over my hat bill, I can't tell what I'm looking at, and that's bad. So, despite the fact that if I try to look at the screen on the camera, I go cross-eyed, I believe under the bill will work better to make sure that I don't shoot a whole video and can't see what uh, you can't see what I've been shooting so here we go all right so we have one hand two hand I can play with what I need to when your technician um, was installing your thermostat whether it was in the new construction phase or whatever he would have had this box it is the TH8321, and it is seven days programmable and all that fancy stuff. He also should have left you an operating manual. Um, in the operating manual, it covers absolutely everything that you may need to know about your thermostat. You have the option of using batteries, and there is a bag with mounting screws. Sometimes you need the little blue plugs so that they will hold firm in the drywall or plaster. Uh, most of the time I prefer to try to catch a piece of wood with the screw and not use the plastic. They don't really work that well. And then you should have had your thermostat. When he got it, it had a cover on the screen, so it's like so. And there's a little tab here that uh, separates the internal lithium battery um, so that it's not always making contact while the device is in storage. So pull that out and remove the screen cover. There we go. Every once in a while I'll get them where they rip, but uh, we got lucky this time. So, this is what your thermostat would look like on the wall. There is a notch here on the top or bottom and one matching on the other side. And those notches allow you to get a good grip on the device when you are going to separate it. If it's mounted to the wall, simply grip it like so. And I usually give it a little bit of a twist and then pull. You've got your retention clips here and here and those go into the slots on the back of the device here and over there. Now, if you're curious as to when your device was manufactured, you will have a date code on the back of the device, and that'll give you an idea of how long it's been in the house. Now I just need to put my batteries in, and we will be able to get started. I will not be showing you the programming. That should be left to a professional. And I have seen time and time again where a customer has tried to make adjustments to their thermostat, thought that they were doing a good job, and actually screwed it up. On the back of the device, as you should be able to see here, you will have an indicator of what is positive and what is negative for your batteries. They will go in oppositely. Positive one side, positive the other side, and so on. So, it comes factory set up for one heat, one cool gas furnace or conventional um, setup. If you um, don't know what your system is, call a professional. That's your best bet. Now, if you have a heat pump, you will have emergency heat displayed just above heat 
and then if you have the automatic feature enabled you will have uh, automatic or auto displayed just below the cool label let me go ahead and set that up so we can show you that feature as well where I will start is that the most sensitive part of this touch screen is typically across the top of the screen press it up there and you light up everything that you can see we will start with the fan and the system control and move on from there to make adjustments to the fan you simply press in the large box until whatever item you were trying to initiate is flashing at that point you can press done if you accidentally make a change there should always be a cancel button on the bottom right that will allow you to back out without having made any changes typically you will have your fan set to automatic if you set it to on it will run constantly if you set it to the CIRC or circulate feature the fan will run all on its own randomly throughout the day to maximize filtration of the air for your system control you press the large box and in this particular instance we have five options we have auto emergency heat heat off and cool if you are using heat emergency heat or cool you will display one temperature and then a humidity reading over here you will have your desired or your room temperature and then the time of day if you were to initiate the auto feature for system control your humidity reading would be pushed into the more menu and you would display cooling and heating temperatures based on the uh, schedule let's go ahead and talk about schedule down here on the bottom left there is a button abbreviated for schedule if you press that button you start off by simply observing what has already been set up you can press the days of the week across the top of the screen and observe what those temperatures have been set to by factory default down here across the bottom you will have four periods unless of course yours has been edited you will have a wake up period a leave period a return period and a sleep period those times can be adjusted once we get it set up on the schedule so to make a change to the schedule you will come in here on the bottom of the screen and press edit you will select whatever amount of days as many or as few as you care this particular thermostat can be set up each of the seven days individually for this walkthrough I'm simply going to show you how to change one day all the rest follow the same process so you can make time adjustments to the certain period that you've selected and then you can select a heating temperature and a cooling temperature for that time frame say I go to bed at 945 and 62 and 82 is sufficient if I wake up at 545 leave for work at 815 return from work at 545 will leave temperatures as they are now once you've made your changes as you need to you can press done if you cared to you could set the fan to do certain features at different periods throughout the day once again cancel it is always available to back out if you'd made changes we'll just make an arbitrary change for fun if we press done it will display that it is saving changes and return to the scheduled uh, the main screen and begin running under those changes here on the second from left you have a permanent hold which will hold indefinitely until you tell it to do otherwise to cancel that you would either press cancel or press the schedule button and they would do the same thing they would return to following schedule if you wanted to temporarily override the temperature you would simply change the temperature doing that it automatically initiates a temporary override which can be adjusted as to the time that it changes in 15 minute intervals 
once that time is reached, the temperatures will return to the scheduled times. In the center of the uh, device, you have a clock button. If you press and hold the buttons, they will make up time more quickly. This particular device will change on the daylight saving schedule all on its own. If you are in that screen and you did not intend to be there, the cancel button will allow you to back out. This button I don't like to push. What it will do is display a 30 second countdown and inform you that it is okay to clean the screen. It does this or this feature is available so that you could change or clean the screen without having to worry about accidentally changing any settings. And 30 seconds is forever, sometimes. When it reaches zero, you can either press screen and continue another 30 seconds, or press done if you are finished. Just to the side of the screen, you have your more menu. That is where the humidity reading was moved to when we initiated the automatic system control. It simply on this device displays room humidity. Some devices you may have options to make adjustments to the desired humidity based on the features that the installation company enabled for you. You can press either cancel or done and return to the main menu. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. I'd be happy to respond. And as always, like, subscribe, comment, share, and we will see you on the next one.